Everyone loves a birthday, cake, presents, and an excellent time celebrating together with your nearest and dearest, but sometimes it are often a touch hard fitting everything in, especially if your big day lands within the week and you've got to travel to figure. So the queen has the proper idea and decided to possess two birthdays her actual birthday and a politician, monarch's birthday. She was born on April 21, 1926, so that's her proper birthday, but her royal day is that the first or second Saturday in June. The tradition of monarchs having a second birthday was introduced 250 years ago and it's still going strong, but why? Well, in what could also be one among the foremost British excuses ever, it's all due to the weather. Since 1748, kings and queens have marked their big day with the Trooping the Color Parade. But Edward VII, who reigned from 1901 to 1910, was born in November, which obviously is not the best time of year for an enormous outdoor celebration. So instead, he moved Trooping of the Color to May or June because there was less chance of it being cold and drizzly on the large day. The monarch after Edward VII, George V, helpfully had a birthday in June. But the Queen's father, George VI, whose birthday was in December, reintroduced the tradition of a politician birthday, which Elizabeth has continued. There isn't a group date for the Queen's official birthday, and it's instead typically persisted the second Saturday of June. George VI w a n t to roll in the hay on the second Thursday of the month, but the Queen changed it to the weekend for convenience. But when Prince William takes the throne in future, he might only get the one celebration as like George V, he features a June birthday anyway, so it's perfect for the sunny celebrations. His big day falls on summer solstice. And therefore, the next king, Prince George, is additionally a summer baby, so there's an opportunity the tradition may disappear for several decades. However, they could plan to continue with the two birthdays, only time will tell. Trooping the Color, a military parade which dates back to the 17th century, may be a highlight within the royal calendar and is one among the few times we get to ascertain the entire family together. The most famous moment from the annual celebration is when the whole royalty close on the Buckingham Palace balcony to wave to well wishers. It's normally the sole time we get all generations of the royalty, including the monarch, Charles, Kate, William, George, Charlotte, and Louis together. It sees quite 1,400 soldiers, 200 horses, and 400 musicians to perform for the monarch. The big celebrations are scrapped for the past two years thanks to the COVID pandemic, however, there are smaller celebrations at Windsor Castle where the Queen spent lockdown.